Hey St. Lucia, good morning. How is everybody feeling? Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Chayla Mendez, your host, and I am chilling here at Hottest Heart Bar, and it's just an amazing setting. So we're in chill mode. I'm here with Toyla, and she's going to give us the 411 on the Back in Time Juve Band. And of course, they're coming out bigger, better. Forgive me because I really thought this was their first year, but I'm so happy I came to chill with you guys today because apparently you guys have been around for quite some time. For quite some time. We've actually been around um, more than six years, I can't say for sure. The reason I distinctly remember the number six is that we have won actually Juve Band of the Year for six consecutive years because we were actually very much... Um, adamant about sticking to a theme and portraying a theme. The name of the Juve Band is Back in Time Juve Band. So every year we choose a theme that um, is based on the old school, on the older age, because we tend to cater to clientele between the ages of 30 to 60, going on 70, it doesn't really matter. Once persons are here to have fun and they're not um, necessarily keen on the carnival experience, we still give them a bit of it by enjoying the road first thing in the morning. Now you know what I like about that too because it's still not even limited to that demographic because you will find younger persons looking for that kind of difference as well still you know for Juve because so many people already ask for back in time parties and you know when you think of Juve back then too it was just pure joy you know chipping down the road and just togetherness so. Exactly yes. Um, it's funny that you should say that um, it reaches a wider demographic because we have for two years in 2012 and 13 we were actually fit featured on Trini, um, Trini Jungle Juice, which is very big for carnival experiences. And um, they've, been, they've been with us and they keep wanting to come back and they bring young Trinis who are ecstatic to find out that there is a distinct experience they cater, where we cater to a niche that just supports the older school music. And then of course they could have the more recent times on the road. So we're very proud of doing that. As well as Juve Band last year hosted Robert Christopher Riley, who is a Caribbean actor out of Hollywood so we definitely do reach all all demographics yes and you know what too funny you mentioned Trinidadians coming down with Trini Jungle Juice because Trinidadians have a way though they're pioneering in Carnival Falls they have that appreciation for old-time mass and recently we were seeing even with costumes of like people like Island People Mass and Tribe where the old-time styles are being fused exactly. with you know modern flair as well but you still see that old-time mass presence exactly. there so what is the theme this year for your band the theme this year for the Back in Time Juve band is music we dance to so we're catering to different categories. There are sections in the Juve Band, believe it or not. So there's salsa, there's zouk, there is reggae, there, and actually there's a special segment, although we're all back in time, there is a Kuduro section as well. Right. So we are catering across the board. Um, persons who come in, their package is not just a t-shirt, as most Juve Bands are. You do get complimentary eats, you get complimentary drinks, there are drinks, drink sheets, etc., and memorabilia as well as small souvenirs from sponsors. Great. Now that sounds really good. What are the prices like? And of course, if people want to be part of this, want this kind of experience for Juve on the Road, uh, how do they get in contact? Well, they get in contact by signing up or coming right here to Hardest Heart Restaurant, or you call the telephone's number 452-4047. There's also a, an array of team members. Um, most persons would, would know that they're affiliated with the um, with the Juve Band, which is Julian Lago, Evelyn Lago, there's also Chris, there is um, there is Rob. So there are there are there are full on say of of representatives that are ready to serve. It's 140 a package, but with the package you get you get different items that help carry the theme. So persons receive um, old time records to carry on the road, there are record players that persons get, and we also um, do help with persons who decide to make their own costume to jump in the band. So if you want to emulate a famous reggae singer or a famous soca singer, that is also welcome. And there's help with creating your costume. So the ba it's a band with a twist. There is a theme you do get if you just want to stick to your t-shirt and different uh, um, different 
applications, I should call it, like the, the record player, etc. You get that in your package. And if you want to build your costume, there's also a, um, a team that helps build different designs. And still at the same price? Still at the same price. It's it's very much a it's a family. It's 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 a family setting. It's a relaxed setting. So persons just come through from Saturday to Sunday before carnival, and there is literally a mass camp going on where persons are building their costume. Persons are making braided locks to suit their reggae theme. Persons are making salsa skirts, etc. So it is definitely a party experience. Okay, well now I'm super intrigued now in Saint Lucia. You, if you're not gonna jump, make sure you look out for them for Juve, because this sounds like it's definitely going to be a treat. And you know, I've always missed the presence for me growing up and seeing carnival when I couldn't jump back then. You know, with people having the standards and there was so much presentation. A section comes on and everybody's doing the same dance. Like this attracted me to carnival, and it's actually something I miss. So seeing that again just being kept alive because Juve is a big part of Carnival so anybody who doesn't know I mean Juve this is how you started it you have to go till daybreak it's tradition so it's nice to see that still here and I love that people can actually build that's what Carnival is for me as well just becoming a character somebody you know it's like playing dress up so guys you know where to come shout out to all our friends at Hard is Hard Come and sign up if you want to be part of the Back in Time Juve band. Be part of something different and special for Juve. You know where to go. Come look for Toyla. Come look for the crew. And of course, you can say I sent you because we here this morning, this is what we love. And we're keeping, you know, traditions alive, but still giving it some modern twist. So, Toyla, thank you so much for thank being you. here with us. And um, you know what, guys? It's pretty hot outside right now. So we're going to go have a few cold ones in your honor. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs>「Guess what? So it is here. It's happening. It's been four days already in a row. So right now, find 52,000 and we have some of the you know, key figures as well as people participating here. Of course, we know Richard, a family here with us, and Sonia. Welcome back. How are you guys doing and how We're do you doing feel well. about it unfolding? I think it's unfolding as it's supposed to, but the heat always surprises you. <laughs> always. <laughs> But uh, we're persevering, this is our fourth day, and we think that uh, we're really accomplishing the goal, which isn't the run, really, it's, it's to draw attention to reading. That's what we're really trying to do. It's an ambitious goal to do a circle of St. Lucia, but we're doing it, and we're doing it with the help of a lot of people I'd like you to meet. Definitely. Now, you know, we had to catch them in the heat of things, no pun intended. And we, of course, we had guest runners coming through. So I think we're kind of going to go down the line. We have Catherine. So how are you, Hannah, and how does it feel to be here in St. Lucia doing this? I feel amazing. It's my first time in St. Lucia. And uh, it's an amazing experience. People are awesome, so kind, uh, truly amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And thank you so much for being here. Now, Arlena, am I correct? Oh, Marlena, got to get that correct. Welcome to St. Lucian. How are you enjoying being part of Fine 52? Um, well, because I've been here like so many times and, you know, like for like reinforced reading, just from our schoolhouse stuff in general, I've basically just kind of, I can call this like a second home just in my life. Everybody's so nice and everybody's just, it's so great to hang out with the kids and run down the road with them. Super. Now, welcome as well. Is this your first time to St. Lucia? First time in St. Lucia, yes. Okay, and your name? It's Albert. Perfect. So how do you feel being part of this? It's been an amazing experience. Uh, Richard and I, we've worked really hard and uh, we're enjoying running. Um, we enjoy the hills going up and down. Different um, to what you're used to. Different than what we're used to. Uh, we, we look forward to the snow that's in the forecast, I hear, which will help cool things yeah, down a little bit. Closer to the pitons. Yeah, closer to the pitons. So. But it's been amazing. Uh, seeing the kids just at the transitions has been so uplifting and uh, that's why we're here. So it's fantastic. Great. Now, of course, besides the other, you know, persons who flew in to be part of this, we have our homegrown runners. So we have Skelly. You might remember him from last year. Skelly, how are you doing and how do you feel to be part of it again? Oh, I feel happy. I'm, I'm great. And I'll do it anytime again. Great. Yeah, I love it. Great. Now, how do you feel supporting the kids and helping to promote reading? Oh, I'll... Well... You have a son, right? Yeah, uh, he to yeah, he loves to read. Great, so that's just another way a parent can support. So that shows you St. Lucia if you weren't here and you weren't part of this. And of course, we have another person hiding yeah. in the back, but Hi. representing for the 758. Just your name and how are you doing today? Oh, my name is Zephyrinus Joseph. I'm pretty well. All right, now Zephyrinus is another good runner of ours. So 
how do you feel I saw that expression <laughs> how do you feel being part of this because this is definitely for a really great cause I, I think first of all I'd just like to thank the Commission of Police and my um, ASP Mr. Monley for giving me the time to, rep to help represent help our Mr. Clues what I feel he's doing is a pretty good thing getting kids to read so I'm very much happy that he actually chose me as one of the runners to go around St. Lucia, which is my very first time. And I know that what he's doing will help eradicate um, illiteracy in St. Lucia. Perfect. So you see, this is what the movement is about. Running, but not just to stay fit and healthy, no. to keep your mind healthy. It's about literacy, it's about reading. Find 52,000 next year is going to be bigger and better as we keep raising the awareness for this. But listen, this sun ain't cold. They predict snow. Wishful thinking, let's see if it really happens, but we got to get back to the rest of the action, St. Lucia, and we'll bring you more.